In this presentation, we will generate, analyze, print, and export to Excel a report that will show the expenses broken out both by their nature and by their function. Get ready, because here we go with zero. Here we are in our not-for-profit organization dashboard. We're going to head on over to Excel to see what our objective will be. So we're going to be within Excel. Last time we created our statement of activities. We're in here on uh, tab 10, by the way, and we are on cell T49. The statement of activities, basically the income statement, breaking out that information between uh, the amounts that are restricted and unrestricted. Now, then we, we have to give the other information with regards, especially to the expenses, uh, and that's going to be broken out both by nature and by function. Now, note here on this statement of activities, we have it broken out by uh, by their function, what they're used for, which is going to be like programs and the general and admin. In our system, we have it a little bit different because we we put we have it by nature here because that's going to be the default for uh, the zero system. But the bottom line is you got to report both of them, and you want to give it to somebody in, like the board in some way that's going to be digestible. <clears throat> so. That means, so whichever way we, we have it here, we don't want to, we typically don't want to put both nature and function in the statement of activities, although we could because it would be a bit overwhelming. Now, remember, when we break this out, why do they need both of this information? Because a company only has by nature. Why, what's this by function thing? Why do I need to know the expenses broken out by program? Just remember that, that for a for profit, the the point of the for-profit is to generate revenue. Uh, so that's the point. Whereas we're not for profit, it's to it's to be spending the money in accordance with the programs. So when we're thinking about uh, decision making or how well the organization is doing, a major part of that is how efficient are they with regards to you know the expenses that are being spent on the program <laughs> as opposed to the to the general and admin expenses, which those things are important, but to have a lean program that's really doing their purpose well, you would expect that they would spend a, a larger por portion of their money on the program rather than the general and admin and the fundraising activities. So we need, that's why we need the breakout. So the, the format of the schedule then is going to look like this. Now this schedule has the expenses by, by their nature, what we would normally have them broken out by, and then also by function, the two programs and then uh, the, the admin and so on, and then the totals. Again, note this report's a little bit overwhelming. So if you put this report in with the, the, the uh, normal statement of activities, it could be a little bit overwhelming. So we're gonna try to break this out in chunks to make it digestible for decision-making purposes, especially with those who might not be you know, professionals at, at looking at financials. And even if you are, again, these are a little bit different than normal financials, and they can be a little more confusing in some ways. Here we are back at zero now. So let's open up our reports. I'm going to hit the accounting dropdown. I'm going to open up our statement, our income statement worksheet. Now, this is the one we typically will be working with the, you know, the income statement worksheet, not our finalized report. But when we're generating this information, I think the, the worksheet is a good one to be working with. That basically mirrors our statement of activities where we have the restricted and unrestricted activities and then the total. Now we're drilling down on this unrestricted column. And we want to break out mainly the expenses by their function rather than just by their nature down here. So I'm going to right click on this tab up top. I'm going to duplicate that tab. Then I'm going to go back to the tab to the left and we're going to open up just a standard uh, income statement. Now, well, before I do that, let's hit the accounting drop down. We also have the unrestricted worksheet. So we've also we've basically done this already. So I'll hit the unrestricted worksheet which is gonna be breaking this information out. We'll actually do it straight from the income statement though to basically rebuild this so we can practice it. But note here, now you have the, the four categories, including a subcategory, the two programs, the program total, the admin, and then the fundraising. And then you have the total uh, by formula, and then you have the total by category. So the only thing we really need to remove here are these, is we only need one total column. So that's, and everything else is pretty much straightforward on this looks like a, a solid uh, report. And we could change the net income. We'll do that when we export. So let's recreate it real quick and just not have the, the total columns over here so we can get the practice of just picking up and using the zero uh, functionality with the report. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to duplicate it again. I'm going to go back to the tab to the left and we'll, we'll make it a bit more 
quickly this time since we've seen it before, but I want to just show you this construction of it. So we'll go to the income statement. So we'll go to the income statement. And this again, we're going to be making our internal kind of report for it now. So the date range looks good. I'm going to go down to editing it now. So we're going to be editing and we're breaking out basically the unrestricted categorizations. So I'm going to go up top. We're going to say I would like to see another uh, column and we want to see the unrestricted. So we want the unrestricted. I'm going to select the drop down. Now, first, I'd like to see the two programs and the two programs are education and uh, the community service. So let's do the education first. And then I'm going to click off of it and double click on our item over here. <clears throat> and I'll keep the 40%. I'll keep it education 40%. And that's it. Then I'm going to go back to the total. I'm actually going to just delete the total. I don't need, I don't want the total column here because that's the total of the whole income statement. I'm only looking at the amount in the unrestricted. So I'm going to trash can up top, going up to the trash can. Then I'm going to go back and we're going to make another column. So we'll make another column unrestricted. I'm looking for then the other program. And then I'm going to make uh, community service the other program. Clicking off of that, double clicking on the name then, and removing the, the uh, 2020. So we'll, we will remove the 2020. And there we have that. Now we could make a total here for the total programs, or we could not, and just keep going with the expenses. I'll make a total because I think a lot of people, you know, when they do the comparison, they might want to see the total because that's what they're looking for. The total in the programs compared to the admin and the other and the other kind of thing to see how lean they are, how efficient they are. That's one judgment you might try to make with a not for profit. So I'm going to say this time I want to see a formula. I want to make a formula and just add those two up. So formula, I'm going to insert then the education plus and then I'm going to insert the community service education plus community service. I'm going to name this total total programs. So total for the programs. And then I'm going to make another column for the unprogram stuff. So I'm going to make another column. And this one we're going to say unrestricted as well. And now I would like the drop down and we could pick up the admin. So we need the admin. I'm going to double click on the name, remove the date. So there we have that. And then we'll pick up one more. There's one more category. So, well, there's one more category and then we'll have the total column. One more unrestricted. And then I'm going to select the drop down. And then we want the fundraising. So fundraising, clicking off of it, double clicking the title, and then removing the 2020. And then I'm going to make a, a total column, which will basically be these three columns, because this total column sums up these two. So the total could be this plus this plus this plus this, or simply the total program plus admin and fundraising. So let's do that. We're going to make the another column, and we're going to make it a formula type column, another formula type column. And then I'm going to select the drop down. I'm going to be picking up the total programs plus drop down then the admin plus drop down then the fundraising and there, there we have it if I scroll to the right that's going to be a formula I'm going to call it total all right so that looks pretty good so I did that fairly quickly but this is the second time we've seen it I just want to rebuild it here so we're going to say done and that should pull over this information now, the main thing I'm looking for is, is to break out the expenses. So I might actually name the report to, to, to break out the expenses by both nature and function, even though we have the income statement up here. So on the income side of things. So in essence, when I, when I export this to Excel, we may just delete basically the income, income statement uh, side of things because our focus, of course, is on the expense side of things. And you know, we can actually maybe even delete the income side of things for, for this particular report. So let's actually check that out. So let's go to the edit layout again. And let's just be like, I don't even want the income side of the income statement here. And, I'll, and to do that, I'll just select the whole income because these are all subcategories of income. So I'll select the whole income thing 
and that's going to be a grouping within the formatting of the report and I'll just delete it. It's going to say go up to the trash can and we don't want that. Deleting this group will impact a formula. So that's going to impact a formula. That's okay. I'm going to proceed anyways. And then here's the cost of goods sold. And then I'm going to, I, I can delete that group as well because there's nothing in cost of goods sold. So I'm going to delete the group. So there we have that. And then the cost of goods sold. I don't need that. So I'm going to go into the cost of goods sold because we have everything down here in the in the expenses. There's nothing in these accounts. These accounts, you see a lot of information here, but there's nothing in them in our in our worksheet. These are just in the chart of accounts. There's no actual activity to them. And notice if you mess this thing up, not a big deal because it's not the it's not the uh, the overarching one. It's this these are the ones that uh, we can always redo it. So you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to say close proceed delete and then the gross profit we don't need the gross profit because that's just a formula and so I'm going to go up top and say delete that as well so delete and now we just have our operating expenses now then if I go down to the bottom of this thing all I really want is the total operating uh, expenses so I don't need the operating income so I'm going to delete that proceed and then uh, other expenses, we don't have any. I'm going to delete that. Delete. Proceed. Delete. And then the net income, we don't need that. I'm going to say delete that. And that leaves us with just the expenses, the operating expenses. So let's see what that looks like going back to our report here. And wow, that's just what we need right there. So that's basically out of the, you know, a lot of flexibility with the reporting there so we don't really have to do much of anything you know in in excel to it to to adjust this at all to make it uh to make it what we would like it to be but uh, so now we're going to export this for well let's save it first we're going to go up top let's change the name for it so i'm going to change the name i'm going to call it expenses by nature and function something like that so that looks good. Let's go ahead and customize this one. So I'm going to copy this and save it as a custom report. So I'm going to save it as a custom report like so. And then we're going to save that. So it's in our custom reporting. And let's check it out just to see if it's there. I'm going to go to, to, to the last tab now. I'll go to the accounting drop down. I'm going to go down to the reports. So within the reports, we want to take a look at the custom reports. And now you'll see that we have, these are our worksheets. And then we have our custom reports. These are going to be the two that we're going to use for basically our final uh, type of reports. So I'm going to go back on over and say, all right, that looks good. Let's export it to Excel, Excel and a PDF. So I'm going to, and then we want to put it on that same Excel file we had before. So I'm going to export to a PDF file first. Shows up on the bottom left. I'm going to make this small. I'm going to drag it into my other, where I want to put it. So I'm just going to take that and drag the good old drag and drop. There it is. Let's open up the uh, Excel sheet. I'm going to open up Excel. I'm not going to drag and drop this one. I'm going to open it because I really want it in my other sheet. So I'm going to copy the entire sheet and bring it over to my other worksheet that uh, where we want to actually put it. So let's open this thing up. I'm going to enable editing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that entire sheet. I'm going to put my cursor on the on the triangle to copy the entire sheet and then right click and copy it. And then I'm going to I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to open up our other Excel worksheet. This is where I want to put it. I want to put it on a tab in this worksheet, the, the same one we opened last time with the statement of activities. So I'm going to go down here and then add another sheet. So we're going to say add a sheet down here, double click on it. I'm going to say this is expenses. Then I'm going to go in A1. You got to be in A1 or select the entire sheet. Right click in A1 and paste it. So now we have pasted expenses by nature and function. Now the total column is a little messed up here again. So I'm going to widen this out a bit. So I can see it. I'm just I'm going between G and F and just making it a bit wider. You can also double click on it if you want. And then I'm going to go down to the I like to go to this page layout view because that'll show me where the page break is. So notice it doesn't fit on one page. So I'm going to go back to the other tab. 
you know, there's a lot of different things you could do to fit it on one page. Obviously, this cell is, is really large, so you could use a wrap text uh, type of thing. So you could say, I'm going to highlight these maybe, and then, and then go up top and say, alignment, let's wrap the text. So if I wrap the text, so alignment, wrap text, then I can make these cells. I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold B to G and I'm going to make these cells a little bit smaller. And it, and the thing that was holding it back are these texts and they'll wrap now so that it won't have a problem. So, and I might even be able to double click on them. Well, hold on a second, double click. All right. No, it's not doing what I want. Let's make it smaller. And there we have that. Now the wrap text didn't expand this cell. So let's make this cell a little bit larger. So there we have the effects of the wrap text here. I also want to highlight this and center it. So home alignment, center, center. So there we have it. Okay, so we could do some more formatting to that, but, but uh, that is pretty nice. Also note that, that if you're deleting rows or something like this, this merged column can kind of mess you up. So just remember, you, you don't have to merge the column up here. I'm not even sure why they did it because it's left aligned. But in any case, home tab alignment, you can get rid of this merge thing and you'll, you should still have uh, the cells. And then if you want to, if you want to like center it across, I could go like this to the whole page or just to the extent of the report, possibly right click on it and then go to the format cells and then i'm going to say alignment and i want to have a horizontal alignment across the selection so horizontal across the selection okay and so that's how you can kind of center it if you want to center it without without using that uh, that merging thing that can mess up you know your formatting so there's our reports now we can give this to somebody uh, to the, we have two reports now. We can give them to them individually or note, note if these were all the reports we had and we're going to keep on making more, but you can also go to the file tab. And if I needed to print these, for example, I could print them and I can print the entire worksheet now. And that's the key, print the entire worksheet. And that means I have my two pages and that makes it a lot easier to, to, um, to collate. So I don't need to do anything funny. I don't need to print two pages of 10 copies and then you know collate them together and also if I have a cute PDF printer and you can you can google search a cute PDF printer so instead of sending it to a printer I'm sending it to this thing this cute PDF printer which will make a PDF file of it which will now make one PDF file with the two files on it that I can then attach to some to something which is nice as well so let's do that I'm going to go ahead and print this with the cute PDF printer it will actually send it to a PDF asking us where we want to put it. So here's it asking us where we want to put it. And I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to put it on this very messy desktop somewhere. So we're going to put it in here somewhere. Zero, not for profit. And let's put it here, financial statements. So let's do that. So then we'll save it there. And then if I close this back out minimize this and go into our information here now we have these two reports and the excel sheet so i could give this to somebody by basically attaching these two reports or i could zip these two reports by saying i'm going to make a new folder and say financial statements financial statements and then i can drag our two reports into it which is going to be this one goes into the financial statements and this one goes into the financial statements and then to attach that one folder I could right click on that folder send to and have a compressed file and then I can send someone this compressed file so that's one way you can give it to someone that's a little bit nicer and then also now we have our PDF file that we can give one PDF file which has the two reports in it which is kind of impressive because because most people don't know how to do that. So they might think that you did it with like a PDF writer or something like that to, to combine the reports. So now we've got, you know, kind of the financials on the one PDF file, which is pretty nice. So we're going to continue with the reports next time. We'll continue adding to this, but uh, that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.